Hey everybody, my name is Danny Dover. I'm the guy behind Life Listed. Um, this, for you, many of you, this actually might be the first time that you've seen me or, or heard my voice, so I want to start out by uh, apologizing. Sorry, I'm not a cute girl or something. I, this is just kind of all I'm working with here. <laughs> so today, instead of writing at you, I want to show you the things that I pack when I go on my, my various bucket list adventures. And hopefully you can learn a couple things or get some tips or whatnot. I, I, my, my intention here is that it's valuable. So. It's pretty pretty simple setup. I, I break it into two things. I keep a suitcase that's always packed with a, a, most of the items I need, and then I have some things I switch in and out uh, based on where I'm going. So we'll start out with the suitcase itself. The suitcase itself is pretty straightforward. I don't actually even know the brand, but it looks like this. Uh, the important thing here is that it has four smart wheels on it. And for those who don't know, a smart wheel are wheels that spin in all directions rather than stupid wheels, uh, which I may have just named. Uh, but they're the ones that don't turn when you turn, and they're super annoying. Um, with this with this case, I find that I usually just carry it like in front of me, and so it's on all four wheels, and it's a lot like walking a dog. And it's just a way easier way to carry a lot of stuff. So I highly recommend going that route if you haven't tried it before. Um, you kind of look like a dork when you do it, um, but like a, like a walker or something. But it's totally worth it. Uh, highly recommend it. So within that bag, I keep uh, a bag of more bags. Yes, this is very meta, I, I acknowledge that. It looks like this, it's a Ziploc bag. It's got, I think, three garbage bags in it and three Ziploc bags in it. And I've found that I never use these for the same reasons, but I always use them on every trip. So sometimes I'll use them for dirty clothes, sometimes I'll use them to like patch up a leaky like roof or something, sometimes I'll use them to carry a bunch of paperwork I have that I don't wanna get wet, that kind of thing. But it's just, they're normal Ziploc bags and they're normal garbage bags, and I've just found them really, really useful. They're, like the duct tape of travel, except for that'd probably just be travel duct tape. <laughs> but you know, this works too. In addition to that, I bring my little bag of electronics. So it's actually really simple. It has uh, a universal power adapter in it. So this thing will take uh, basically any plug and spit out any other plug. Uh, so I've used this uh, a lot, as you can imagine. I got it on uh, the duty free, like on an airplane. I tried that out. And it worked like really, really well. So I'll link to this below, but it's super useful. You can see like the European plug here, and then uh, I can do whatever plug I want in the back. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it kind of gives you an idea. It's pretty sweet. I use it a lot. And then the other thing I have in here is my vaccination uh, list. So I've been vaccinated for a bunch of things so that when I travel and immigration asks me if I have it, this is some proof. Uh, so it's got like a it's official signatures and stuff on it and I laminated it so that it, if it gets wet or when it gets wet, uh, it won't dissolve. So I keep that pretty simple. In addition to that, I have a bag of toiletries. So this is uh, pretty straightforward and maybe more information than you really need. But uh, in here I keep some deodorant, so some Tom's deodorant. The, the only reason I go with that brand is because it doesn't melt when it gets really hot. So I found that to be really useful. I have a toenail clippers because I, I don't know why this is, but finding toenail clippers in foreign countries has been like really, really tricky. Uh, I'm sure the reason is because I don't know the word for toenail clippers in most languages or really more than just one language. Uh, but when you need toenail clippers, this comes in really, really handy. And I just use the same toenail clippers that I use for my fingers. Don't tell anyone, but it's basically the same thing. I have earplugs. So earplugs for obvious reasons, when you're traveling around a lot, it gets really loud. So I found that these are just really useful and they cost like virtually nothing. So I just bought a big like mini box of those. I also have a uh, travel toothpaste. So just a real small carton of toothpaste. Uh, and then a travel toothbrush, which is just, it's really, really small uh, and it does the job fine. In addition to that, I have some condoms because you, know, you only make that mistake once. So uh, I'm trying to avoid that early on. And then I have, uh, Floss. So I've been using Tom's Floss, which is not like my roommate or anything. It's just the brand of it. And I like it because it doesn't break and it doesn't like cut off my fingers and uh, make me think that I'm like injuring myself. So I use that. So those are things that I always keep packed. They're just always in my bag. I never have to worry about them. Um, and then I just end up using them basically every single trip that I go on. So in addition to that, I also have like the clothes that I bring, right? And ideally I'd have enough clothes where I could just have them always packed, but honestly I don't own enough clothes where that is even possible. Like I just run out of underwear and <laughs> like the city's told me to stop walking around naked and without underwear. So, uh, I, you know, I don't do that. <laughs> so what I've broken it down into instead is just the stuff that I pack. So I use a quick little formula. If I'm gonna be gone for somewhere for five days or multiples of five, I'll pack three days worth of clothes for that and then wash it for the other two days. So uh, if I'm gonna be gone for 10 days, I bring six like pairs of clothes. And so what does this look like? Well, it's pretty simple. 
So I have uh, just various clothes, I think just like everyone else. So I have two kinds of socks that I use. I have these black business socks. Uh, I just, I like them, they're comfortable. I don't know the brand or anything. I think I got them at Target for super cheap. And then I have some Under Armour athletic socks. So these are what I run in. Uh, these are great for everything else, but uh, they're, they're not cotton, which means they dry really fast. Whereas with my athletic ones, they're made out of cotton. And so uh, they're great for running in, but they, uh, they don't dry as well, so I don't use them for my everyday socks. In addition to that, I have my running clothes. So I have uh, some shorts here and then some shirts here. The only thing particularly interesting about these is they're dry fast. Uh, so I don't think the brand's particularly important, but they're not cotton again. So they, just, they dry really quickly when I am running in the rain or whatnot. In addition to that, I have uh, my running pants. And then I just, they're, just, they're uh, like some long pants that I wear when it's, when it's really cold somewhere. So I think these are Under Armour and they're really great. I like them, I like them a lot. I also have this jacket, which if you've ever seen a picture of me on the blog, I, I really only have one jacket, <laughs> so this is it. Uh, I got it in Buenos Aires at some point, and uh, I don't know the brand of it. it. looks like it doesn't say, but uh, it's nice, so just, you know, I go with something simple here. If I was to lose this, I don't think I'd be particularly sad because, you know, it's just a jacket. So I also have some electronics. I have uh, an unlocked iPhone 5, and the, I don't particularly actually like the iPhone. I, I just switched to it because I, because T-Mobile doesn't have contracts associated with their phones in the United States, so it's a little bit cheaper for me that way. Um, the only important thing there is that it's unlocked, so you can use it on any continent that you want. In addition to that, I have a MacBook Pro, which I just keep with me at all times. That's how I get everything done. Basically, my entire life is in the cloud, and I can do uh, a separate blog post on that if people are interested on how that actually works logistically. But if that was to get stolen, I wouldn't actually lose anything. It's all backed up um, and available like internationally. And then uh, I have a couple plugs and adapters. So I have a charger for my phone, I have a charger for the computer, and then I have uh, a plug that goes from like Edison, which is what the plug we use in the United States, to like longer Edison, uh, because I found when I'm in cafes around the, around the world that a lot of times they'll have one plug, but it's in like a very hidden spot and you have to have a really long cable to get there. And so I, I actually, I do that. I just keep a long cable with me. So that's all the stuff I have. I hope this was helpful. Uh, feel free to give me any um, feedback you want on this or uh, tell me if this was a useful format or not. Uh, you don't have to look at my weird face anymore, so uh, feel free with that. And my only advice is um, stay light. Uh, thanks for listening to me and I'll, I'll talk to you next time.